Okay then guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at something very, very interesting. So this right here is an article that was written by Video Games Chronicle, which is Diablo Immortal faces a backlash as Metacritic user score drops to Blizzard's third lowest ever. Now we're going to be discussing a lot of this and we've got a lot of things to go over. We have got around four or five different sources that we're going to be taking a look at. And this is pretty insane. Diablo Immortal is taking a absolute hammering right now. And this could potentially be the one thing that could absolutely destroy the franchise for its core belongings. Now, if you haven't already, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. But with that being said, let's take a look at what's happening right here. So right now we have got a bit of an issue as it has included a report over the weekend that calculated that has been a massive cost to max out a fully upgraded character could cost up to $110,000 in the game. And that is insane. Now, a lot of people are experiencing a lot of difference in this. And they're saying, obviously, that there is a lot more fun inside of the game. It's free to play. I'm not paid a penny. And the way that these games are structured is that for the first part of it, which is the campaign, you don't have to spend anything. You can just play. You can maybe get the battle pass if you want to. But you don't have to spend anything on that standard. Once you get past that paywall and you get to the stage, you then have to struggle. Because at that point, it is accumulated that it could take up to 10 years to max out a character on its own based on a free to play standard. Now, as I am fully aware, that does not mean it's not possible, but 10 years is a bloody long time for one single game period, considering Diablo 4 should be right around the corner now. There are a lot of things going on, and if we look at the Metacritic for this, the user bombing has been insane, and it has actually dropped lower than what it was at beforehand. So we can see right here that the negativity has resulted in Diablo Immortal being review bombed on Metacritic, which at this time at the writing means its user score is currently at 0.8, the third worst in Blizzard history. Now, as it stands right now, it's at 0.6, and this was only written yesterday, so it has dropped lower than 0.2, in at the space of one day and I expect it to drop even lower over days passing. Now this is rated on a basis of 1,447 ratings which as an overall actually isn't a lot and I wouldn't classify that as a review bomb but this has definitely been a bit of an overwhelming dislike to the game that's for sure. Now if we look at some other things such as the community poll that we actually posted up the other day we can see that there is a bit more of an outstanding issue with this. So we posted up a poll saying Diablo Immortal thoughts two days ago. It's received 12,000 votes. 54% of that essentially says that the game is absolutely trash. So we're looking at maybe around 6,500 people, which would accumulate more to the basis of the Metacritic 1,400 rating. If everybody was actually rating this, this would be an absolute destruction fest. It's mental. There are quite a few people that are liking it, but I'm guaranteeing these guys are in the general campaign right now. And you can see that there are a lot of comments in here. So we've got from Captain Jimmo saying, the beginning of the campaign story is okay and the game is play is serviceable. The pay to win is unacceptable and I'll probably play the campaign then stop permanently. And for me, if you're not wanting to spend any money, and I would recommend that you don't want to, this is the way to play it exactly. Play the campaign, enjoy the game for what it is, and then just leave. Leave it as it sits because there are a lot of other people who have not had that same blissful play style and some people who are actually trying to make a living out of this. So let me just introduce you to this guy right here. Now this guy right here is so dependent on the whole mobile device gaming and stuff like that, that Diablo Immortal was a massive move for him. And so much so that his channel is actually called DM Diablo Immortal. This is a bit of a really sketchy movement to be fair, because this video really brings to light quite a lot of things. And I may react to this video for a separate video in the future. If you guys want me to let me know in the comment section, but this one says that Diablo Immortal makes me want to gamble and that's a problem. And this is very much the case. And a lot of people are falling into this trap where they're enjoying the game for what it is and then playing and paying. And because you don't pay out a hundred bucks at a time or you don't pay out, two thousand pounds or you don't pay out ten thousand pounds the money can accumulate very very quickly so understand that even though you may be putting in ten pound here thirty pound there fifty pound here if you do that over the space of six months you're looking at thousands and thousands and thousands and this is where the bit of the the sketchiness comes up so where we look at right here, a very, very reputable person, I highly recommend giving his articles a look at, and even his YouTube channel. He's primarily a Destiny 2 YouTuber, although is also a article writer for Forbes. 
He states that, yes, Diablo Immortal is absolutely paid to win eventually via Forbes. Honestly, one of the most insane gacha systems I've seen. You're essentially playing through a dungeon to open loot boxes you've bought. An end game build requires hundreds of legendary crests and you can maybe get like three a month for free, which would accumulate to around 10 year completion rate. And again, these numbers are very hazy, but they are rough estimates and they are accumulated and calculated to be relatively accurate rough estimates. So how should we take this overall rating? The 0.6 user score is going to continue to drop. The game has almost destroyed a franchise. As stated by a very, very, again, reputable person, the Angry Joe Show. He does get angry about a lot of things. We are under no illusion, but his game reviews are extremely iconic. They're absolutely amazing. And he reacted to the basis of the game costing $110,000 to max level in Diablo Immortal. He was peeved because of the Diablo in franchises and overall has been an a absolute pillar to the gaming community an iconic movement that that not many games have managed to have and diablo 1 2 and 3 although have their faults have not been to the level of this standard so where do we sit at with diablo 4 are we going to surface and face the same issues with diablo 4 as we are here or is this just the general attack of a mobile game mobile games for those of you guys who don't play them, any of them are a lot like this on that basis they cost a lot of money you've got a lot of microtransactions in them because nine times out of ten they are free to play but Diablo 4 is it really, really sought after, and this is a game which is just around the corner now. And I would recommend that if we see another delay for Diablo 4, the likelihood is is that they tried to implement a lot of these standards into the Diablo 4. And after the massive, massive backlash that this game has got, if it does get another pushback, I would suggest that that's them removing the pay-to-win cycle for this. But it's very, very interesting to see where it goes. Diablo 4, I'm hoping praying can pull this back but blizzard have taken a massive massive reputation hit with this game and has definitely sought them into some problems although i do find it a little bit strange that this is not the most hated game from the franchise so blizzard games receives a worse user score to date with warcraft 3 reforged and world of warcraft classic burning crusade classic both of which were released in recent years of 2020 and 2021 are, are is a worse off than this game and I don't, it blows my mind and maffles me now i know that the world of warcraft series is obviously quite a a big sinking money maker and it will continue to be because the the community is absolutely ginormous but this is just something that i can't comprehend and i don't know how they've got away with diablo immortal i know that a lot of the time it's all based on community perception and i can't imagine a lot of people are going to be playing this game i am enjoying it personally i really like the campaign and i'm plowing through it and i'm trying to get as far free to play as possible and we do have a series on the channel where we are playing completely free to play and see how we get along and how far we can get in the game but this is just a massive controversy which is going to absolutely break the scene for Diablo Immortal and Diablo as a franchise. But that's what we've got time for today. If you haven't already, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much again for watching and all your support on these videos. It's been amazing. Thanks again. Appreciate you all. And as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.